Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at the Sunway Man T20C. Pretty cool interface on this. Let's go ahead and open up the box, show you what you get on the inside, and uh, we'll show you the operation and everything here in a second. Standard instructions, warranty information inside the box. Set that to the side. Here's the light itself, and then you have a lanyard in there, spare tail cover, spare O-rings, standard accessory kind of stuff. Alright, so here's the light itself. One thing I really like about Sunway Man is their machining and anodizing. They do a really good job on both, always. So, uh, pretty slick looking lights, really good machining, really good anodizing. Make it where I can actually focus on the light. There we go. You've got that Cree XML LED down in there. Big LED, relatively small reflector, so this is going to give you more of a flood kind of light. It's going to light up basically everything you have in front of you instead of doing a, uh, stuff at a distance. It will still do a pretty decent distance, but uh, not like one of these these kind of lights with an XPG LED in there. So stainless steel, bezel on here, a little bit of crenulation so you can use that as a strike bezel. Another thing that's nice is you have it sitting down like that, you have it turned on, you can tell that it's turned on. You got this combat grip ring here, that's what that's for. Uh, it also does anti-roll, if you have it on a flat surface, it'll keep it from rolling around too much. There's a switch on the back. Alright, let's open this up, throw a couple batteries in here. It's powered by either two CR123s or an 18650. So we've got a couple of Surefire CR123s. Actually, let me show you something real quick. The way it has its interface is it actually has two kind of cylinders going down in through here. So you have your regular battery tube. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's another spring-loaded cylinder down in there that actually moves around when you hit the switch. Pretty cool interface. So I'll show you how that works just a second. Get that tail cap back on. Okay, for the operation of this light, you have the switch on the back. Lightly press it, momentary. You press it until you hear kind of a click or feel a click, and you get your constant on. Now you have some other modes in here. When you have it turned on, if you press and hold, it'll switch through your different outputs. And when you see the one that you want, say if you want to have it on low, when you get to that, just let go and it'll be set to that. And now, if I turn the light on, you can see it's going to be going in into the mode I left it on, that low mode. It's not going to switch until I have it on and I do that press and hold again to get into whatever other output I want. You also have strobe in here, so if you have it, you just double click it, that's how you get into your strobe. You can see it's a really fast strobe. I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but in person that's really, really annoying. <laughs> so it's a, it's a pretty good strobe. Um, and then just turn it back on and you'll have it back into your uh, your constant on mode. Now it's going to have a memory for the different outputs, it will not have a memory in the strobe. So if you want to keep it in a strobe, what you have to do is just get it, do that double click again and it'll go back into the strobe. So you can also do that from off. If you want to do the double click from off, it'll go into your strobe. So you do still have quick access to strobe. Alright, so that's the interface of the light. We're going to go ahead and take it outside and we'll show you how it does outside. Alright, we're outside with the T20C. Got the big 40 mag light that I always use. Let's give that mag light a shot, see how it does. There's a little bush, 15 feet. Tree out there at 100 feet. Alright, let's try out the T20C. And of course, it has a whole lot more light. Higher quality light. Zoom in on that. So you can see, not really super concentrated, but uh, it does a really good job of just lighting up everything in front of you. Really nice spill. Even when you shine it up, you've got this lower part of the yard that's still lit up with the spill really well. Shine it around a little bit, and I'll let it cycle through the different outputs. Shine it down so you can see, even the low output lights up the ground in front of you pretty well. Alright, let's try this guy at some longer distances. Okay, here's that Sunway T20C. I'll go ahead and do the 4D mag light, give it a shot first. There's the house at about 50 yards. Tree in the front yard at 100 yards. Doesn't really go out to 100 yards. Let's try out T20C. You can see, no problem on that one. Definitely 50 yards, the house is no problem. And even at 100 yards, even though this isn't necessarily meant to be a distance kind of light, 100 yards is no problem. Lights up the tree really well. You can see all the details and then everything around it as well. No problem at all. Lights up a really wide area at once. 
as I said before, I really like these XML LEDs for that because they give you a nice uh, combination of distance and uh, really wide area lighting, flood kind of light. So there you go. That's the Sunway Man T20C. If you like it, you can get it from us at goinggear.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We do stuff like this all the time.